Hi, I'm Dan from McAfeeHub.com, and here are your top three private equity stories for today, Wednesday, January 9th. Kicking us off, CalPERS, the largest public employee's retirement system in the country, has bought a 9.9% stake in Silver Lake Partners, the tech-focused buyout firm. The deal's for about $275 million, which values Silver Lake at about $2.75 billion. The third time CalPERS has bought directly into a buyout firm, having previously done it with Apollo and Carlisle, and the first time it's done so after announcing it was going to raise its overall allocation to private equity by a couple percentage points. The deal also promises that CalPERS will continue to commit to Silver Lake funds in a limited partner capacity. Now, Silver Lake recently closed its first ever middle market fund called Sumeru with about one point. $5 billion, and it also is in the midst of raising a new buyout firm that's rumored to be around $8 billion. Story number two is a venture capital deal. MFG.com has raised about $26 million, co-led by Fidelity Ventures and its Asian affiliate. Now, the best comparable to MFG is Alibaba.com. MFG is an online B2B marketplace for manufacturers, whereas Alibaba is an online B2B man marketplace rather for suppliers. Fidelity backs both of them, and Alibaba went public last year at a huge valuation, and Fidelity hopes MFG will be able to do the same thing. One big difference between the two companies, however, is probably in the amount of venture capital financing needed to get to public markets. Now, Alibaba was formed in the internet bubble and ended up burning through a lot of cash and ended up having to raise well over $100 million before it went public. MFG, on the other hand, was kind of born right as the bubble was ending, and because the founder couldn't really get any venture capital funding, he financed the company initially on his credit cards. Since then, the company has had strong growth, and Larry Chang of Fidelity tells me that they probably won't need additional venture capital funding unless a couple strategic, opportunistic acquisitions pop up. Our final story, the government of Ontario announced this morning that it's launching a $165 million venture capital fund aimed at companies within the province. It's going to be backed by a number of big Canadian financial institutions like Manulife and Omers and RBC. Now hopefully this is something that Ontario has done its research on and believes it can promote strong economic development because the examples we have in the past of regionally focused venture capital funds, particularly ones backed by governments, is that the return on investment is lousy. So if Ontario is doing this, again, hopefully it and its financial partners look at this for the jobs it's creating and the infrastructure it can build rather than for the direct dollars it's going to return on that $165 million because chances are it's not going to be very strong. Those have been your top three stories. Make sure to check back here tomorrow and check all day at PEHub.com for private equity news and analysis.